didn't go. For this speech, I decided to talk about my best friend. But then I realized I had three best friends. My cousin, my father, and God. <clears throat> and I decided I couldn't talk about them together because I couldn't do justice to all three of them. So I'm going to talk about them separately. Today I will talk about my cousin, Jose Miguel Macay. My family was the second group from my extended family to immigrate to America. The first consisted of my mother's mother and all of her surviving children besides my mother. My grandmother's name was Gregoria Gutman. We called her Mama Goya. When we came, we became the portal through which most of our extended family came. When I say portal, I mean that my parents sponsored them. This meant that my parents had to provide them with a place to live and feed them until they got on their own two feet. The first family we sponsored was the Mackay family. My tia Antonia, my father's sister, was married to my tío Felipe. They came and brought Jose Miguel, Carlos, and Mimi, Emilia. This was only part of the family. My cousin Jose Miguel became my best friend. By this time, I was a little over seven years old. My cousin was one month older than me. We soon had bicycles, <clears throat> which enabled us to explore all of San Francisco. Our favorite playgrounds were the parks. Mission Dolores Park was one favorite, both for playing and for meeting girls. I didn't know anything about girls at that time, but my cousin knew a lot. Golden Gate Park was another favorite, especially the part near the beach where the windmill is located. There is a soccer field there called Beach Chalet. This was a popular place on weekends to socialize or play soccer. <clears throat> there are people from all over the world <clears throat> in San Francisco. Francisco, and every country had a soccer team. It was always fun to go there to meet with friends and make new ones. Another favorite park was at Army Street and 24th. Army Street is now called Cesar Chavez. This park was a favorite because there were always many Latin girls there. My cousin was protective of me. He knew my, my knowledge of girls was limited, so he was careful to limit my involvement. He also decided I was different. I was always wanting to learn about different things. One day I told my father, I thought I would like to learn to play the piano. A couple of days later, two men delivered a piano and installed it in my bedroom. I had to be careful what I said around my father. I loved to study technical things. I dreamt about designing fancy cars and airplanes. I never did that, but I worked on all kinds of electrical communication systems and also GPS. 
because my cousin thought it was different. He wanted to protect me from personal harm. If there was ever going to be a physical confrontation, he made sure I was not there. He became my self-appointed guardian angel. Now I started going to UC Berkeley. I found I had to deal with lots of girls and I liked it. I guess I was growing up. I also joined a Latin group, which met every two weeks. We met at someone's home. We had sodas, cookies, things like that. We played records and danced and had a good time. Once there was a girl I was taking who asked me if I would mind taking a girl named Sylvia, who had just come from Nicaragua and didn't know anyone. I said that would be fine. At the gathering, I spent time with both of them, and I decided I liked Sylvia better. I decided I would look Sylvia up later. I knew where she lived. A couple of weeks later, I went to another meeting of the Latin group. As I walked in, there was Sylvia. I went to her and I never left her side. We danced all night and I did all kinds of crazy things to impress her. We dated for two years and then I thought my world would end. My uncle Sam said he needed my help in Korea. We wanted to get married, but her mother said, you go to the army, you come back, then you get married. I couldn't afford an engagement ring. My father saw my problem. He lent me the money. I gave Sylvia the ring. She said, yes. I went to the army, I came back. We got married and had a wonderful life. So you see, my cousin always tried to guide me. I decided, <clears throat> and so I decided not to, so that I didn't hit too many bumps in the road of life, I got to write that over. <laughs> I goofed up that last one. Oh, well. Yeah.